Hi, I'm Jason. I'll be doing a demonstration on your motor room today. Basically, you've got two sets of keys. You've got two ignition keys. You can lock all the doors with the key. Key in, to your right, locks your cab door. Key in, to your right, locks your habitation door, your sliding door. On the side, obviously you need to lock it with the key again. It's not on central locking. To my right hand side is your fuel. Silver key, key in. Key to your right, cap off. Got it. Cap back on, turn it to your left, secures the cover for you. On your motor room, you've got two tanks. You've got a fresh water tank and a wastewater tank. Your wastewater tank is a tank just underneath your van where your dirty water from your sink goes into. And the drain for this is just located just to my front. All it does, you just twist it open and then to your left is closed. Every side has got a draining point where you drain your waste and you're fresh into. And here you can do it at the side at Rokes, it's just fresh water and dirty water from your sink in your shower. As we move further around to the back, bike rack, three rail bike rack, lifts up, lifts up, that pulls down, and you feed your wheels through the cables, through your wheels, through your wheels. The longest arm goes through the outside frame of your bike, middle frame, inside frame. Back up again, push it in to secure it and put the arm down, it gives you extra security. Again your back door with the ignition key, locks to your left, just to your right. That lifts up. Underneath here is your toolkit located just to my front. You've got a little area of here when you're on site for your TV. Inside that cupboard is storage. Press your button in here and inside here is your gas bottle. It's butane which is a blue bottle. At the top of the bottle you've got a little indicator at the top, the knob, clockwise to close, anti-clockwise to open. Always turn your gas bottle off when you're travelling. When that's open that'll run gas into your vehicle so you can ignite your, your eating and also your gab op, uh, gas hob. Press is in and the door comes back down like so. My front mains lead. When you've got your mains lead in, inside your motor and you've got three pin sockets and also 12 volt sockets. When your mains lead is actually in your vehicle, all your three pin sockets will work and also your 12 volt. And so when your mains is in, no matter what electric you're using on your motor room, you're never draining your battery. That's why obviously you're paying for your site fees for, for the, night, the use of the electric. Alongside here, this is your fresh water filling point. It's a little black key. It's key in, hold your cap, Turn your key to your left, press it in, twist it to your left, whittle it out. You put your hose pipe in, into it or your garden hose, turn it on and it fills your fresh water tank in. You have got an overflow pipe underneath if it obviously fills, so when it overflows from the outside, you know it's actually filled. But you have got an indicator on your control panel, shows how much water you've got in your system. When you've done that, back on again, twist it till it slots in, press it in, turn your key to your right, locks it back up again. Underneath here is your fresh water drain. <laughs> Got a little under the top. You can see it. Twist it, open, again, clockwise closes it. So you've got your fresh water drain, waste water is opposite side. And again, you can lock the door on this side with the key. You've also got your vents here for your fridge. If you ever wash your van down, always wash away from here so it goes downward. Don't jet wash into the vents because then you'll get water back in your fridge and it not ignite on gas. At the top here is your outside TV aerial point where the aerial inside your boot plugs into there and you just turn it, twist it to get a signal for your TV. As we step inside your motor room, oh, last little look underneath there is your spare wheel located at the back. Door opens like so. Step inside your motor room, you've got your control panel. So basically all it is, when you pull up onto site, when you've pressed in at the top, your control panel switched off. To turn all the lights on, press a button in, you're now switched on to 12 volt. At the top here it says pump. That position it's off, 
when you press the switch and it's like on a rocker switch, when you press it into the right, what that does then, that pressurises the water from your fresh water tank to your taps. When you do put your pump on, you've always got to make sure you've got fresh water in your tank. Because if there's no water in your tank you put your pump on, it eventually you'll just pump or just keep pumping, pumping, eventually it'll burn itself out. To check your fresh water level, you come to this button here. So if you press it in, it's now showing your fresh water is full. Underneath that, sockets. So if you press the switch in there, all your three pin sockets will work. This is power to your sockets. That's it at the moment, and you've got a 12, 12 volt socket outlet just pointed there. You've also got another 12 volt socket outlet there. And I believe you've got another 12 volt socket outlet there, like for kettles or toasters, etc. Again, your three pin sockets only work when your main supplies in. Eating. So your eating's on gas, so obviously make sure your gas is turned on. Again, you've got a rocker switch. When it's in the middle, it's actually off. So to turn your eating on, you switch it over to the flame. Then you come to this section, the more you bring it round, the warmer your eat's going to be. Or if it's an hot day, you can turn it all the way back to minimum. And switch it over to your right, that's now cooler. Like a little fan. Off is in the middle. Alongside my front, you can put storage inside there. Underneath here, your sink lifts up right for cold. The water is going straight into your wastewater, which is underneath. Close it back off, and then further along, that lifts up. Lift your screen up, over, over, fold the flap down and you've got your three indicators. Basically you've got top left, top right and the middle ones for your grill. All it is is press it in to your left and you will need it ignite it to, to light it. Again your grill is exactly the same and your right hob is exactly the same. When using your grill obviously leave your grill door open. That comes back down, back down, underneath, secures it like so. Underneath here you've got a bit of storage again. Storage again. Storage drawer and a cutlery drawer. Located underneath here is your RCD, that's your trip switches. Basically all it is, if you've got too much power coming into your vehicle and it trips, it's exactly the same as at home, just flick your switches up. And then to the left hand side you've got three gas isolation points. The bottom one is your heating on gas, the middle one is for your oven, your grill, and your top one is for your fridge. We're in that, when they're in that, that position, basically 9 and 3 o'clock is open, 12 and 6 o'clock is closed. As you can see your fridge one's closed at the moment, because we're just waiting for your fridge to be fixed. But you can leave them open all the time. It's just if you smell gas leaking in your motor room. Underneath this one, that goes out. Toilet. Lifts up. Obviously you'd be sat on it. That then. Switch for it. That's your pump that pumps water into it. To fill it up, you unscrew this part here. Put your water into there, close it back up. So when you do use your toilet, you just pump your water through like so. And inside here, I think, yeah, you can fill it. That's that's where you empty it all out. Close it back up. Lid back down. Back in and across. Lock it to secure it. Got light switch. Also speakers at the back. To pull your bed out, underneath here you've got a storage drawer. And if you pull it out further, you've got a little table located just here as well. That goes back in, pushes back in, locks back off. Lever, right then, lever across, pull your bed out, and it comes all the way out like so. 
can put a mattress topper on top if required to make it a little bit more flatter. Inside here, again that's excess point where you can open your boot up at the back. You've got one entrance and you also got an entrance in here as well. Close that back up. At the top you've got storage around, storage and storage again. You've got another local light switch here. Blackout blind, fly screen and all your windows open. Like so. Back across lock it, lock it. And you've also got another three pin socket located to my left. Uh, above on the roof is your smoke alarm over to my right, which is just located there. And as you can see, you've got a nice little skylight. Squeeze the lever, press it up, and you can lift that up for your flying. Up. And you've also got a blackout blind for night time. That comes back down again, lift it up to secure it. Your bed. I believe, I think you've noticed that as you've, when you've seen it before when you came and viewed the vehicle this will have to be taken off, it's a shelf that the customer's put on when that's pulled away, all you do with the bed you pull it completely forward obviously when that's pushed back, it's sitting to here and you've got another bed at the top there as well for children <laughs> all the way back in into that position there I'll lift that up When you get right angle at it. Like so. To lift your bed back up. Lift up. Push it in as you're moving along. Lift it up all the way back. And it locks back into position again. You've got a little table here which you can unscrew and take away. As you can see with the drawer that I pulled out, you can flick that off of here, take the little table off and put the bigger table on when you're entertaining at night time if you just want to sit outside or on your seat for a drink. And you've also got, as well, you can also put your pole there, your table again underneath, just plonks onto the top. Obviously, like I say, when turning out of your seating area or turn your seat, you can just sit here and have your tea at night time or your breakfast, etc. And that goes back into it. Like so, little reading lights underneath here as well. You've also got a bottle opener for your beer. I'm just going to put this on back seat one second. I'm just going to start the initial up. Down to my left hand side is your fire extinguisher. Just over to the left hand side. And behind you on the seating area is your book pack. You've also got a battery charger in there as well. Inside here, again, start straight up. As you can see, you've got a 12 volt, which is a, a cigarette lighter basically. You've got hot air, cold air, you've got directions either circulating around your van or you can have it coming in from the outside while you're travelling and at the bottom is your directions for where you want your blown air coming through alongside here is your blowers you've got your door lights located at the top obviously when the doors are open indicator right and left <coughs> on and over to my right hand side is your wipers up and down you've also got your side lights and your main lights your fog light is located just to my left fog light off fog light on and alongside you've got heated screen etc windows are just by manual like so and your hazards are located just to the front of the steering wheel just going to turn that off for a second just going to put the seat back you've got a little lever at the front lift it up you can either lift higher obviously or you can pull it down and drop to the bit down forward depending on how big or tall you are 
you've also got another bar at the front to bring your seats backwards and forwards. Alongside here, on this side, you can adjust the seat again backwards and forwards to position yourself in a nice comfortable position. Your bonnet cache is just located alongside to the right hand side. Orange lever, pull it out, releases the bonnet. And that's your demonstration done for today. If you've got any questions at all whatsoever, don't hesitate to give me a ring on 01159 303 140. And enjoy your motor room. Thank you.